what's up everybody I wanted to check out this new season of World of Wonders which I've been seeing a lot of people say that it'd be, it's be, it'd be giving them uh, Willy Wonka vibes kinda just gives me just like rainbow vibes it's like so many different colors all in one but so far we don't really know too much about it you know cuz we still have like four days I do believe before it starts you know so there's not really too much uh, we'll, we'll watch this little video here in a second uh, for the trailer that they put out which a lot of the old a lot of the old uh, things they put out did feature stack attacker and Bless, Blessifalon. I'm not really hard, how, sure how you say it. And then uh, Poipole and its evolution. Nah, Nagat. Yeah, I can't say that either. Naganadel or something like that. Y'all can make fun of me about how I pronounce it because I don't know. Uh, and then like people are spectating that there's gonna be like a Kanto event. Which, I, if they do give us the Galarian Bird Shinies, that'd be kind of awesome. I wish that they would, like... I wish, like, I wish, like, they would, like, put them, like, in braids for, like, one... Like, you know, like, maybe just a couple days or something. You know, for anybody who doesn't just sit and run in the daily incense. Like, the, I, the only uh, Galarian Bird I have is just Moltres. I was surprised I got it, but... I haven't really ran it really much. Like, I ran it, like, back, like whenever it first came out, but since then I haven't really ran it. I might try and do uh, maybe like an hour or two incense with it with the new uh, Dialga move. We could try that. Sus sustainability Week, Spring into Spring, Festival of Colors. Yeah, all of those do happen during like during these next couple months because it's what, March? April, May, and then we'll be in the Go Fest season again, which that'd be kind of cool. Uh, would do you all think that we're gonna be seeing the uh, all these Ultra Beasts, or do you think we're gonna only see like maybe this one? Because I mean, like with all the rainbowy colors, like, that kind of just makes me think it's gonna be just this one. Maybe we'll see the other ones, but I'm not really too sure. But just like the way this looks, it kind of just makes me think that, like, we'll get, like, this guy and maybe a bunch of other random things. But we're going to, we'll watch this real quick. Ooh, that's loud. And then y'all could tell me what y'all think. You know, not very long. Kind of, like, for the one part, like, whenever Nidoran's just kind of, like, it's, like, right after this. Like, you just see, like, the sky go pink, purplish, pinkish, purplish. This might be, like, the introduction for Poipole, actually. So maybe we will get more than just, just the, uh, this guy. Cause that that there does kind of give off like poisony type vibes, or maybe like I had heard from somebody else, maybe it's maybe this is hinting at like a Nidoran Community Day. Cause we haven't had a Nidoran Community Day. If but if they do need do need blah, if they do do Nidoran, I'm 100% sure that they'll do Nidoran male and female for the calm day. The moves that they could get. I'm not really 100% sure. I'm not really sure like what the uh, exclusive moves are on Needle King and Needle Queen. If anybody does know, y'all can let me know in the comments. If not, I guess we'll just have to just wait and find out. Other than that, like this, this looks kind of like oh, like it's just gonna be like you know like a color like a color themed event or not event but like season 
because it's just it's just really just like kind of ma- kind of gives me the uh, the vibes of uh, the one the one avatar we have where you throw the colors up in the air or the dust up in the air and it's just all these colors you know so maybe we'll be getting all of the all, all of these ultra beasts that we see like there's four of them technically a three one evolves but If they do do something with the Kanto regionals, that'd be kind of cool. Because Tauros is stuck to America's Canada, maybe? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure if it's in Mexico, either. But I know in North America, this Tauros is stuck. And then you, Mr. Mime is, like, Europe area? I'm not really sure, like, where all in Europe... But I know it's stuck to Europe. And then Kangaskhan is just stuck to Australia. And then Farfetch is stuck to Japan. I'm not sure if there's any. I don't know if Farfetch spawns in China and the Koreas or not. But I'm pretty sure it's stuck to just Japan. I could be wrong though. I haven't been to any of these other regions. Except for the bit for the one I live in. <laughs> so. And you know, I only know Kangaskhan stuck over in Australia. Because... Some of the other content creators I watch that live over there, they, they're they always talking about getting Kangaskhan everywhere. I haven't really seen too many Japanese slash Asia Pacific areas have talked about Farfetch, but I don't un- really understand like many other languages. And I've only seen like a selective few people ever talk about Mr. Mime over in like the Europe area. So, <coughs> so if they do make these all like available like worldwide and all that it'd be kind of awesome but other than that like hopefully this event comes out to be kind of decent hopefully we're not having to sit and pe- like have to go through the season like we like we just got done going through with having to pay ticket ticketed things for everything we could only have hope and pray for that oops but other than that you know hopefully we have a good event let me know what y'all y'all's uh, predictions are for for what we're gonna be getting throughout this little event here, or not event, but this season. I don't know why I keep saying event. I'm just so used to there just being event after an event. Uh, but yeah, you know, like, do y'all think that we're gonna get something interesting like shiny Galarian birds? You think we're gonna get another uh, like Kanto region thing where? All these are spawning in eggs or in raids and all that. Do y'all think they'll just be in the wild? Yeah, like let me know. Yeah, like what y'all think about this? Yeah, like I'd like to, I'd like to like see what other people think other than just content creators. But yeah, hopefully or whatever we have a good season or yeah, a good season next month for the next three months. If we don't, hopefully they hopefully they start coming out with something or whatever that's going to start making the game a bit more fun for everybody because as of right now, it's kind of lackluster for the game. Like, I mean, it's, it, still has its, it still has its moments where things are cool, like new releases, new spawns every once in a while. It'd be amazing if they gave us, like, these new uh, uh, Ultra Beasts. Another Ultra Beast that I'm not seeing on this list, which they did do a trailer for, was Necrozma. Oh, I somehow... I don't even know how you spell it. There we go. Which, if they do add this one, this would be a cool one for them to add. Uh, From what I heard, there are no moves and everything that have been reported for it which as you can see it just has struggle for both moves and then there's just no moves found for the for the fast moves so this would be kind of cool if they actually added this into it it being a pure psychic type doesn't really do too much for it McGeerna this well this all this would be another cool one I don't think they'll add it anytime soon but McGeerna would be kind of cool but from the Ultra Beasts that we did see previously, we did see a Crosma. There's different forms of it. Or is it it's got a dark, a 
dark type, a steel type to go with the psychic, psychic dragon type. That's kind of cool. I didn't know it had all these different little forms. But we'll probably get this one. And then we'll probably, like, they'll probably go through each one of these. That might be why they haven't put anything in this about this yet. Because they're not, they don't know how they're going to introduce the, uh, like, the other three versions and stuff of it. Because, because this is, it's, oh, that's ghost, not dark. I, I misspoke on that one. So it's a Psychic and Ghost, and then a Psychic and Steel, which Psychic and Steel might actually be a pretty decent typing. I don't know if there's another Psychic Steel Mon out there, but... It'd be kind of cool to have it. A uh, Dragon Psychic. That's an interesting typing, too. But yeah, other than that, I just want to just kind of go over that. Y'all have to let me know what y'all think in the comments and all that. But with that, hopefully y'all have a good rest of y'all's day. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.